So now I'm asked to find the probability of getting a value greater than negative 1.81. So we've already done less than 1.8, negative 1.81, but now we're going to do greater than. So again, I start by drawing my picture, placing my z-score, and deciding which way to shade. And in this case, I want the area to the right. And we say that because it asks for greater than, which means to shade to the right, although I won't do that for a minute because I forget. But this means we must take the complement of the value in the middle of the table, right? We're looking at case two. So I go to the table with negative 1.8 on the left, a one on the top, and in the middle, I find 0 0.0351. Or actually, we just did it a few minutes ago. I would have just taken that number and not looked it up again. But I want the complement, so I take one minus that number, right? If I subtract the other way, I'd get a negative, and we can't have negative area or probability and I get 0.9649, and then I'm just gonna answer that as a percent with one place to the right of the decimal where I had to round on the four because it had a nine after it. Okay, next problem. Find the probability of a value greater than, whoops, sorry, there's my shading, 3.17. Oh yeah, with that shading up above, notice I shaded more than half the curve, so my answer is more than half, it's more than 50%. But okay, back to our problem, greater than 3.17. I draw my curve, 3.17 is to the right of three, and so I'm finding this tiny area to the right. So I look up the value going one place after the decimal for the left, two places after the decimal on the top to find 9992. Again, I want to take the complement because I have case two. I want area to the right. I subtract my number from one and get 0 0.0008, which this one actually has an added level of complexity because as a percentage, that's 0.08%. And I always like to go one place after the decimal, not two. So when I look at that zero, it does round up and my final answer is 0.1% of the area. There's a very, very small probability that a value would be more than 3.17 standard deviations above the mean. And notice this little tiny shaded area is way less than half, so I expect an answer way less than 0.5, less than half.